Does anyone know why the sound changes on a vinyl record from the outside to the inside? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Disc media like CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays have a constant data rate. To achieve this, the disc spins faster near the center and slower near the outside. However, analog discs like acetate or vinyl records have a constant rotational speed, either 33 and a third, 45, or 78 RPM. So the sound is moving faster near the outside of the disc and slower near the center. The higher speed at the outside means that the sound can have more high frequency content than the sound near the center. At one time, when recording a program to be broadcast later, radio engineers would start the recording at the outside edge of the record. At the end of side one, there would be a commercial break. Then, side two would actually start near the center and be recorded outward. That way, the sound quality would be identical before and after the commercial. When mastering vinyl LPs, some engineers have tried to compensate by adding more high-end EQ to the tracks near the center. However, the problem with doing this is that since the recording is moving slower near the center of the disc, there's no high-end headroom, especially with the RIAA preemphasis. So, the additional EQ usually creates sibilance distortion. Generally, as the listener is playing a vinyl record, the gradual and subtle change in high frequency from outside to inside of the disc is unnoticeable. However, if it's an issue, a good practice is to limit the amount of songs per side so that the tracks don't get that close to the center. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.